you say, I hope I get a bike for Christmas. And you went out there one year and the bike was under the tree. You remember when you said you hope you graduate? Turn right onto Battleground Avenue, then turn left onto Battleground Court. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Green Valley Road. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Y'all won't. At one point in time, the older you get, this got to start clicking in. That faith is really the substance of things hoped for. That if you hope hard enough, y'all won't believe how much. You ought to get smart and turn all that hoping into belief. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Y'all won't believe how much I got for my book. Onto Green Valley Road, then turn left onto Westover Terrace. Fifty dollars for all six of my books, y'all. That's what a little less than ten dollars a book. And you know my uh, dreams, hope, and stepping out of faith is always you know selling for ten dollars on Amazon. So I sold to a little bookstore here in Greensboro, and I got fifty dollars, y'all. So I went and got me some CDs that my CD player won't play. <laughs> I'm about to play them when I get home on the kids' PlayStation. So I just want to thank God. I'm getting my material out in the world. I don't know who hands they're gonna end up in, but God is good. God is so good, y'all. So, whew, green light. Fifty dollars, y'all. Fifty dollars for six books. Do I keep straight? Left onto Westover Terrace, then turn right onto the Wendover Avenue ramp. I'm trying to multitask here, y'all. They gave me $50, I bought some CDs, and my car CD player won't play them. Ooh, child, don't run into me. And I'm so grateful, y'all. Wendover Avenue ramp, then merge onto West Wendover Avenue West. It's closed. Oh my, oh me, oh my, oh me. Which way now, Google? Which way? In a quarter mile, turn right onto Campus Drive. Do this yellow light. That ramp was closed. I couldn't turn on it. Anyway, I just want to say, y'all, God is so good. Like I said, I don't know who hands some books are going to end up in, but I sold, instead of selling four and four, I sold three and three. Three of my first. On to Campus Drive. Three. Campus Drive. Oh, God. Is it taking me to Campus Drive? Oh, Grimsley High School. I think I'm going to have to turn around. I'll turn right onto Benjamin Parkway. Oh, Jesus. I'm at Grimsley High School, y'all. The kids are getting out of school. What time is it? 12.43. What are these kids doing? Are they skipping class? I'm at Grimsley High School in Greensboro, y'all. I've never been here before. Hey. Hey, Big Sexy. Hey, sweetheart. I'm in the borough. These kids look like they're getting out of school, but it's just now a quarter to one. I know they're not getting out early. Oh, bless these little kids' heart. I'm going to Grimsley Grimley High School. Yeah, I got $50 for my books. For three books of my first copy, my first book, and three books of my second book. $50. Benjamin Parkway. That's six books for a little less than ten dollars a piece. Turn right. I turn right. I'm trying to multitask here, y'all. Smoking, listening to Google, talking to y'all. Thinking how blessed I am. I just made fifty dollars. I bought some CDs. Use the right lane to take the Wendover Avenue West ramp. Y'all yeah, know I love me some good music and that old school music. So. I bought me some CDs and then the rest they put on my card. Which way? That's Elm Street. Is this Wendover? That's East Wendover. I'm gonna go West Wendover. I'm gonna put on some motivational speaking on my way back home. Uh, Steve Harvey. This West Wendover. Lane to take the Wendover Avenue West ramp, then merge onto West Wendover Avenue West. I'm all into the motivational speaking, which hopefully one day I can do myself. And you know, just God is so good. Like, I just I could not believe what he said forty nine ninety nine for all six books. I said yes, give me that, give me that, give me that, and I flew and I paid for my CDs and I flew. I couldn't believe it. Like them books is gonna get in the hands of somebody. 
somebody gonna pick West up my window over avenue west for five miles i hope they can uh, get both of them at the same time that'd be a really treat for them anyway i'm putting on some motivational speaking by steve harvey i hope y'all enjoy Enjoy the motivational speaking, y'all. Imagination is everything. Right on YouTube. It's the preview to life's coming attraction. I'm gonna shut up now. Listen to the message, though. This is important information. Important and information. Think about because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives. Yes. So what an opportunity we have to practice what he preached. Because it's actually a scripture. But it's a scripture that's never explained to you the right way. When I learned it, it changed my life. That's a scripture that you've all heard. It says faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes. And the evidence of things not seen. All faith is, really, the substance of it is just what you hope for. That's all faith is. It's just real hard hoping. You know when you was little, you said, I hope I get a bike for Christmas. And you went out there one year and the bike was under the tree. Uh-huh. You remember when you said you hope you graduate? Uh-huh. And you mess around and got a diploma. Or college life. Then you remember when you said you hope you get a job? And you mess around and you got a job? Every day. At one point in time, the older you get, this got to start clicking in. That faith is really the substance of things hoped for. That if you hope hard enough, one day you ought to get smart and turn all that hoping into belief. Yep. And what is belief? Nothing but faith. Yep. And what is faith? Faith is belief in things that you cannot see. When you ain't seen no way you was gonna get a job, got you one, didn't you? When you ain't seen no way you was gonna get that bike, he got you one, didn't you? Mm -hmm. When you ain't think you was gonna graduate, you graduated, didn't you? Yes. That's because God was turning your hopes into faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes. But, you know, faith without works is nothing. So try to be an agent for good. Hit a kicker. This is the part you got to get. And the evidence of things not seen. Remember I told you that imagination is everything. It's the preview of life's coming attraction. But let me tell you the problem with your imagination. The problem with your imagination is you tell it to the wrong people. You want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. Yes. Do you know how many times God has showed you something in your imagination that you knew was just for you? You were so excited when he came to you, you went and you shared it with your family and friends. You know what they did? They shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. You know why they couldn't see it? Because God didn't show it to them. He showed it to me. To me, to me. He showed you the evidence of things not seen. See, they might love you, but they don't know what God gonna do for you. Right. See, your mama and them, your cousin and them, your friend, they don't. There's a slowdown ahead. See, you gotta be careful when you share your imagination with small-minded people. Yes, Lord. Nobody else can see your imagination. But you. Yes. But see, it ain't just you imagining stuff. It's your God showing you a preview of a coming attraction that He has for you. God loves you right where you at. Yes. All of you, you're in the process right now. Yep. You're in the process of becoming what God wants you to be. Yep. See, the reason you wake up every day. It's because God ain't through with you yet. Because right. he still has something for you that yep. you've yet to receive. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. It is the law of attraction. Right. It is real. It is nothing fake about it. A man is as he thinking. Yes. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. 
If you say all men are dogs, you're going to meet every last one of them. <laughs> I'll never be rich. You won't. Fuck you won't. That. Fuck that. The moment you change the frequency. In a quarter mile, use the right lane to take the I-40 West ramp. The moment you change that frequency, different things come back to you. I'm telling you this how it works. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. Change your attitude, you change your altitude. Ooh, child, it's hot. I'll tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Including you. Not, Believe it or not. Every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. Eventually, you are going to have to jump. Jump, y'all. You cannot jump. just exist in this life. Can't just exist. You've got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, yep. man, believe that it is. Yep. Believe in your heart of hearts that it I is. I believe, Lord. I believe. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. Got to jump. And I'll tell you why I call it jumping. When you see hey, people in life, when you're standing on the I'm cliff in life, when you see people soaring by, when you see people soaring, going to exotic My places, city. I'm in the you borough. doing wonderful things. Maybe you look up the street and your neighbor just gets a car every year, every two years. Well, how is he doing that? Have you ever thought? Maybe I'm this Use the right home. lane to take the I-40 West ramp, then merge onto I-40 West. I'm you just got to quit looking at gifts as run and jump and sing and dance. It's more than that. Well, it's if you know how now. to network. If you can connect dots. If you draw. If you teach. Some Back of y'all fried chicken. And and bake pie. Some of you cut hair, color hair. Listen to Steve Harvey, y'all. Not your education. You go get an education. That's nice. Yeah. But if you don't use your gift, that education only gonna take you so far. Continue on I-40 West for seven miles. It's your gift. But the only way for you to soar is you got to jump. Got to jump. You got to take that gift that's packed away on your back. You got to jump off that cliff and pull that cord. That gift opens up and provides the soar. If you don't ever use it, you're going to just go to work. Mm -hmm. And if you're getting up going to work on a job every day that you hate going to, mm -hmm. that ain't living, man. Mm -hmm. You just existed. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, you ought to see what living's like. But the only way to see what living like, you got to jump. Got to jump. Hit a problem. I just jumped, y'all. Just be real. Made me a $50 profit. When you first jump. I just jumped. Let me tell you something. I just jumped. You're not open right now. When you jump, it's not going to open right away. You're going to hit them rocks. Yep. You're going to get some skin tore off on them cliffs. You're going to get all your clothes tore off. You're going to get some cuts on you. You're going to be bleeding pretty bad. But eventually, eventually, the parachute has to open. That ain't a theory. That's a promise. Here's another thing. You can play it safe. And deal without the cuts and the tags. You can stand on that cliff of life forever. If you don't jump, I got another promise I'm going to give you. The past you will never know. You'll never know. Steve Harvey, y'all, right on YouTube. Get some motivation about because yourself. That's the only way to get to that abundant life. Get some inspiration. You jump, that abundant, I'm living an abundant life. life. Talking, Look the no word up in the dictionary. In abundance, well, I got bills. no fears, well, stay on the cliff no fucking fears out here in this world. Bills. I don't fear shit. Well, if but I God. my job, I'm going to ruin my credit. If you got a job, you live in check to check. Got a job, you live in check to check. Payday is every day for me, y'all. I done started two businesses. Payday is every day. Thank you for them cash out. Before you die, jump. Just jump one time. Jump one time. Just jump. Make that step one time. Talk to y'all for a second.
for y'all non-believers. Steve Harvey was saying just jump one time in life. He said if you live in paycheck to paycheck, you just coexisting. You just existing in the world. When you, you know what I'm saying, do something for yourself, it don't matter what it is, something for yourself, you're gonna thrive. I learned a new word, y'all, thrive. Thrive in life, look it up, Google it. To thrive in life, y'all, oh my God, it's something amazing. It's an amazing feeling to thrive and live an abundant lifestyle where you don't fear nothing or nobody but God himself, oh my God. Y'all just, I cannot describe the feeling. I cannot describe the feeling, y'all. An abundant lifestyle, and I'm thriving out here in this world. I'm getting up out the hood. I done got up out the hood. I'm getting up out my city. Yeah, I'm getting up out my city. I want to take it to another year, but shit, if push come to shove, when my lease up in December, I'm finna be gone. I'm leaving everything to my brother. My whole entire apartment is gonna be left to my brother, and I'm packing up this little truck of mine. I'm gonna get everything fixed on it, and I'm fucking out. I swear to God, and I'm never looking back. I moved out of my mama's house almost 20 years ago. I never looked back. I've been on my own for damn near 20 years plus. Not including my college years. All it takes is one leap. One leap Use away. the right two lanes to take exit 206 for US 421 North toward I-40 Business Loop, Kernersville. Right, let's turn it off because I know where I'm going now. I'm going to get my meds, y'all. Going back to the tray to get my medicine so I can stay sane. So I don't be in a crazy house. Oh, Lord, I don't want to go to the crazy house. I swear to God, I swear to God, I don't want to go to the crazy house. No more, no more. Y'all read my books. Read my books, it'll tell you all about my mental life journey, my mentally ill life journey, and why I'm successful the way I am today. Like I said in my previous live, I don't, if you don't know, I don't smoke no drugs, I don't do no drugs, I don't smoke no weed, I don't even smoke weed, y'all. I don't drink no alcohol, I may puff puff my little cigarettes, but that's an addiction that I'm gonna break. Wait till I get to my new city. And get away from, you know what I'm saying, the toxic shit that's going on in my life. Wait. And when I'm on my own for good, you know, because my brother stays with me. I'm my big bro. That's my brother. I want him to come with me, but then I kind of want to go on my own. Just, you know what I'm saying, because I I lived a few years on my own. Where am I going? Okay. I'm going to business. I don't want to go by Paris. Anyway, I lived a couple of years before my brother moved in with me when I moved at my mama's house at the college. After I got mentally sick, mentally ill. Y'all want to know why I'm so crazy? I'm mentally ill crazy, y'all. I take medicine. And I don't give a fuck, you know, talk about it. Talk about it. Please talk about it. I, you know, take medicine to control my sanity. So y'all bitches, y'all niggas talking about, I'm so crazy. Don't fuck with me, bitch. Here, meet a real live crazy person. Don't fuck with me mentally, for real. Don't fuck with my mental. I swear to God, I will backlash on your ass some kind of bad, and you will get your feelings hurt. I swear to God, you will get your feelings hurt. You fuck with my mental mind, state of mind. Anyway, so, like Steve Harvey was saying, you got to take a leap of faith, y'all. Just jump one time. Just jump one time. Take that leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do to make yourself happy. I'm happy out here, and once I get to my new city, I'm going to thrive even fucking more, y'all. You can't stop me. God is the only thing that can stop me. I don't, I'm don't. i not scared of nothing or nobody. This dude was so fucking pissed off in my inbox the other day. Talking about he going to post my pictures and my videos. And mind you, I ain't seen him shit. You know, I ain't seen him none of my OnlyFans stuff. None of my sexy pictures and videos. He was talking about pictures and videos that's posted on Facebook. Talking about he going to post my shit because I, I think he was trying to get some pussy. He was trying to ask and beg for some pussy. Yeah, I know I don't fuck my fans. I got maybe one or two guys that I can go to, you know, say if I want some dick. Anyway, so he was he was like, when can we hook up? I said, never. I was like, never. We can never hook up because, for one, I don't do meetups. It's dangerous. And y'all motherfuckers on Facebook, y'all will never see me unless you see me at Walmart, Dollar Tree, somewhere like that. Anyway, so he asked me, when can we hook up? I said, never. When can we meet up? I said, never. Oh, he got some kind of mad, y'all. He got some kind of man. He was like, fuck you, you fat stinking bitch. I was like, okay, 
you know, bad. Fuck me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And when you fuck me, when you do finally get to fuck me, if that ever happened, which is never going to happen, fuck me good. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me real fucking good. You know what I'm saying? Put, put, put me to shame. Anyway, so he's talking about, I'm going to post your pictures and videos and uh, for everybody can laugh at your fat ass. Thank you. Give me more publicity so more people can buy my shit. So can send me more cash outs. Please do. Post all my shit, motherfucker. Who gives a fuck? And then I blocked him. Uh, okay. And so, um, yeah. And then I blocked him. Please be my guest. Post my publicity. You know what I'm saying? Make me famous. I need one picture or one video to go viral. I need one fucking picture or one or two or three or ten or twenty or a hundred videos to go viral. I don't care which one. You got it? Send it out. If I sent you something, send it to your homeboys. Tell them to add me. I don't give a fuck what you send them. Send it to all of them. Send all the pictures and videos I done sent you to all your homeboys. Please be my guest. One picture of one, like I keep telling Walter, like I keep telling Walter, one video, one uh, song go viral and you, you rich and famous. You just need one song, Walter. If you out there listening or watching me, you need one song. One fucking song. That's all you need. That's why I keep telling myself. If y'all got my pictures and videos in your inbox, go ahead. Be my guest. Send it to whoever. I don't give a fuck. Because you know what? It's always going to be classy. It may be a little nasty, a little raunchy, but please be my guest. Make me rich and famous. Send it out. Send it. If you got my pictures in, go ahead. Be my guest so they can keep on subscribing, so they can keep on paying me, so they can keep on, you know what I'm saying, looking what they looking at. Says, I don't give a fuck. Send my shit out. Send it to whoever. Send it to Jesus. Jesus is right there with me when I'm making it. He was holding the damn phone in the camera. Anyway, so that's my little rant. People kill me. These niggas kill me. I love what I do and I love my job and I love my businesses that I have created for myself. But the bullshit that comes with it, who child. Y'all should see my fucking inbox. I had to take Messenger off my phone for a period of time throughout the days and night because it'd be so many inboxes from people around the world. Y'all think it's just these lame man straight folk? Hell no. My shit is going nationwide and worldwide, you guys. I done created something for myself that's touching India, United Kingdom, Ukraine, Bahamas, California, Tennessee. I done seen just about every 50 of these states that came to my website. Every Somebody, I can't see who you are, but I can see, you know, where you're from when you visit my website. MyReferChronicles.com. There you go. My website. MyReferChronicles.com. Go check me out. I need y'all to look my, uh, read my blogs too. So, I, you know, read my blogs and respond to my blogs. I'm trying to, you know, create a blog on my platform. You know, for people, we can, you know, get some things talked about, get some things heard, get some things viewed, get some things looked at. So, subscribe to my newsletter. Be working. Maybe I should have went bypass, but the traffic is moving. Anyway, so yeah, if you got a picture, why does it get hot? AC is on. Ain't no needles moving up to hot. Let me cut it back on my face. It's just a little warm. Oh, there we go. It's cool. Anyway, so like I was just saying a minute ago, if you got my pictures and videos, please, by any means, send them out. Send them out to whomever. Make them subscribe. Tell them to add me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on Snapchat. Fuck it. I'm on YouTube. Y'all, y'all hit me up. I don't care. Cause the more the merrier the more the merrier the more the fucking merrier send my shit to your homeboys tell your homeboys to add me tell your homeboys homeboys daddy to add me i'm trying to make a, uh, another business page because they took my miss yum yum page down them white folks oh i got to arguing with them white folks y'all they took me down on my mission i was almost at a thousand uh, uh, a thousand subscribers uh followers on my miss yum yum page on facebook they told me, don't white folks, they got to arguing. When I was doing my ads, when I was paying for the paid ads, you know, they was coming, they was, oh, they didn't like that shit, so they took me out. So, <clears throat> I got Reefer Chronicles LLC on one of my other um, Reefer Chronicles pages on Facebook, but I don't never, ever, ever be on that page or that business page. So, I'm going to try to do another page with one of these accounts that I have that I be active on. So, y'all be on the lookout for that. Anyway, I'll just cross the um county line back in my city. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go grab my medicine, go grab me a slice of pizza, and I'm gonna take it on to the house. See what big bro talking about what he wants to eat. He don't like pizza like that, so I know I'm not taking him no pizza. Or I might just call him and tell him to be the fuck ready so we can ride out the city and go find us something. I'm so sick of eating out, y'all. I'm so sick of eating out. We eat out damn near every day. I made, what I made, chicken tacos last night. But we eat out damn near seven days a week. We eat out probably about four or five days out the week. Just sometimes, we, but when we in the house all day and all night, then, you know, I'll cook. Or we'll find something, you know, to eat. But when we on just days like this or, you know, when it's, you know, go time, we just, we be on the go eating. And we sometimes, we eat damn near three meals a day out in the streets. Go Pepsi. Hey Pepsi plant, my workers. Hope y'all in there cool. It's hot out here today. Anyways, y'all don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I'm on TikTok too, Reefer Chronicles. Snapchat, Miss Yum Yum. Three pages on Instagram. Y'all, my links is up. My links is up. I don't have to tell y'all my links. Please stop inboxing me, asking me what link is what and what my username is on what. They're up. Go to allmylinks.com forward slash reefer chronicles. Boom. All my links. All my links. It's called allmylinks.com for a reason, y'all. All my links are right there. The fuck? Is that coming off his truck? Ooh, I love y'all. I think I want to pop some music since I'm back in familiar territory before I go get my medicine, pull up, bumping my shit. Pretty girl, three, three, six, Miss Yum Yum. All right, y'all, I really gotta go because I want to listen to some music. I'm done talking to I'm blue in the face. Y'all motherfuckers don't listen anyway. Y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do, but like Steve Harvey said in the beginning of this live, take that leap of faith. Just jump out there and fear nothing or nobody but God Himself. Because right now I'm thriving and I'm definitely living an abundant life. You know, when you do start that business, when you create a platform, and you making money every day. Payday is every day. Not no once a week. Not no bi-weekly. Not no once a month. Payday is every fucking day. You get money every fucking day. What you do with your money, that's your business. Anyway, somebody share my live. Share my live, somebody. Share it, share it. If you got pictures and videos in your inbox, please send them out. Where am I going? I'm back in Winston. Oh, I know this is highway. Too familiar. Anyway, y'all share my live. Share me. Please share me. And like I said, if you got the pictures and videos in your inbox, please send them out to your homeboys, to your daddy, to your cousin, to your sister, brother, mama, auntie. Who child, y'all, y'all share me. Send me out. I love y'all. God loves y'all. Stay safe. I'm going. Is this my exit? Stay safe. I think so. Yeah. Oh, I'm going down. All right. Love y'all, I gotta go. I, I wanna pump some music, and I know y'all don't wanna hear that. So y'all be good out there, and y'all know we for love y'all. Thank y'all for the continued support. Mm -hmm. Y'all be blessed, stay safe, say your prayers, and just believe in God, and believe in yourself if you don't believe in nothing else. God first, yourself second, your family third, your money, your food, all that good stuff. All right, so I'ma go ahead and end this. I love y'all so much. And thanks again for all the support. Y'all go out and order my book on Amazon because I just, oh, bye y'all. Be blessed.